Well, here we are for the media call of Tina, the Tina Turner musical, and I've got with me Matt Verivus. How are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. I've just seen two songs performed on the stage. I'm really excited to see this show. Yeah, it's really exciting to be bringing it to Australia and sharing um, this amazing story with Australian audiences. Um, Australians have such a, an affinity with Tina, so um, it's a really exciting time. Tell me more about the character you play. Uh, so in the show I play um, uh, a person called Roger Davies. And Roger was responsible for taking uh, Tina's career to that next level after Ike and, uh, and uh, taking her to that next stratosphere of, of stardom. Um, he's, a, he's a wonderful, um, quiet Australian trailblazer in the, in the music industry that people don't know a lot about, but um, it's a really exciting story that's thread into the show. I love the fact that you've just said it. A lot of people don't know that Tina Turner's manager is Australian. Yeah, he was, yeah. Uh, and not only that, you know, um, he was responsible for a, a, a huge amount of things in the, in the global music industry, including um, you know, Janet Jackson's Velvet, Velvet Rope um, album, and he managed Cher and, and Pink, um, Olivia Newton-John, and, uh, and he's, he's so private that no, not many people know about it, so it's a really interesting um, angle that um, people won't know about. You are a Helpman Award nom- uh, winner, I should say, a Helpman Award winner for Beautiful the Musical. That was based on a, someone's life, which was Carol King. Now this is another semi-autobiographical <laughs> musical about Tina Turner. Where did you start for your research of this character? Um, I guess I started with the script. Uh, obviously we have to you know, portray these characters in the realm of, of, of what's on stage. So that was... Um, that was the foundation of where I started and then uh, online as well reading as much as I can and and hopefully one day um, I'll shake the man's hand he's he's actually still alive and he lives in Sydney you haven't met him yet I haven't met him no he's very private but um, hopefully at one stage I think he'll hopefully come and see the show he must be really stoked that an Australian is actually now going to play him on stage because the musical opened in London and it's on Broadway as well yeah yeah it's it's done uh, it's done all around the world, um, so it's very exciting to be bringing it to Australian audiences. And yeah, I I, I hope that he is um, excited that an Australian is finally playing him. He's six foot and blonde, and I am five <laughs> five six and a brunette. But um, listen, if Ruva doesn't steal the show, the wigs will. So it's, it's fun. <laughs> Best New Musical at the Olivier's and Best Musical mm. at the Tony Awards. Mm. I can tell you that everyone in this audience today, and I've been looking on social media, is incredibly excited. And of course, I was there for the first look of rehearsals. What have you learnt about this musical that you haven't learnt before in other shows? Um, I think what this show does so well is capsulate, uh, captures um, the spirit of Tina and, and, and portrays this incredible story of her overcoming so much adversity in her life um, and is a real celebration of, of her, her life as a snapshot um, over, you know, her amazing career. Mm.
what audiences were interested in is the fact that it does go to heavy places, places that are dark in her life. How did you um, attack that part of the uh, that part of the musical? Yeah, uh, the creative team have been wonderful. It's a, it is it does touch on really sensitive sensitive areas, but it's important to the story because um, I think that's a, one of the main uh, sort of the cornerstone of the story is you know um, that point of overcoming adversity and and we we approached it really sensitively and you know there was weeks where um, we did a lot of work to create a safe environment and um, and and it's f feeling in a really really great place Roger Davies was also part of the rebirth of Tina Turner. We were introduced to her in 1989 for the NRL mm. commercials for Rugby League. Are you a rugby, a rugby league supporter yourself and do you have a favourite team? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Cairns boy, so I grew up with um, the NRL uh, supporting the Cowboys and the Broncos. Um, and I remember the, the promo very clearly, even though it came out a year before I was born. It, it really um, encapsulated a, a decade of, of sport and, and, and onwards. So, um, uh, yeah, I remember it really clearly. Some boys has got the look of a freak of downers. And some boys has got to talk you off of your feet. first commercial was what you get is what you see then of course she was signed for another five years mm. with simply the best out of the two different commercials do you have any particular preference <laughs> I love them both I think they're simply the best though it, that was that was the iconic one for me <laughs>
to what is now the Australian Premier, mm. is there anything about your role that you didn't think that you would know before? Um, I, you know, it's we're really lucky. Katoria Hall, who wrote the book, um, has done has really written a play, um, and it's got so much so much heart and so many layers to it that each time I step out on the stage, I find something new uh, within the world that we're portraying, but also um, within the story of Roger and, and Tina and just how how complex the story is and um, how much heart it has, yeah. Now, Roger also was um, instinctive of getting Tina with her uh, Columbia Records, which is the rebirth of Tina. The first uh, album was Private Dancer. The second one was Simply the Best. What kind of songs can we expect from any of the catalogue of Tina Turner in this musical? Well, obviously people will know, mainly know the hits, but what's interesting is the early days for Tina and where she started out, especially with Ike, um, and just to see how that the musical landscape changed over you know four decades, really. Um, uh, that's probably the most exciting thing, and I think people people will know all the music but it'll be on uh, especially in the early days it'll just be unexpected they, they might not necessarily know that she started out singing you know um rhythm and blues and, and, that, and that sort of that sort of um uh, canon of music before she stepped into what everyone knows Come over here. a favourite Tina Turner song overall? You mentioned Simply the Best, which has to do a lot with the NRL League, yeah. but do you have one in particular? Yeah, I, it's really hard, uh, but probably probably the Nutbush, like the rest of Australia. There's something about it. It just, it's, um, it feels like it's part of my identity being Australian, and every time we do that at the end of the show, it's, um, it just goes off like a firecracker. Are you on stage for that or off stage? Uh, I'm I am off stage watching. So that's also part of why I enjoy it, because <laughs> I get to watch the girls work, work the behinds off. So you're dancing in the wings. Yeah, I am. Matt Verivas, who plays Roger Davies, the Australian manager of Tina Turner. It was an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Congratulations on the Australian premiere of Tina, the Tina Turner musical, opening here at the Theatre Royal in Sydney, and I can't wait to see the show. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.